lift up a little bit more. That's one. That's two. Alrighty, so I've picked up a piece of steel, 25 by five mil, so she's gonna be thick and hopefully not warp that far. Um, basically, what I figured out what I was doing, I'll just get the tape measure out of my hand, is actually bring it down from these bolts here, come straight down and then pull them straight out. Um, and then once once I've done that, I'll be should be able to mount them just in one piece instead of multiple pieces. So just got to work out how far down they come in so I can sit them about there. Uh, I think we'll we'll do the job. So it's as simple as just coming straight down and coming straight out. But what I'll do is I use one single piece to come straight out, and I'll just weld two tabs on uh, so they can bolt through there. Should be nice and easy. Um, I will give you measurements and all that sort of jazz, um, so you guys can mock one up for yourselves. Because after last night, after having a chat um, about with the idea, I uh, jumped online, had a bit of a look, uh, see what it had to offer. I think it was uh, whatever, whatever Denali or Denali, whatever um, lighting company. They do a bracket which is pretty similar to what I was thinking about last night. So. Instead of paying 140 bucks, um, I think I will spend 15 bucks on some metal and just weld, paint, and install. So uh, yeah, we'll work out some measurements and go from there. Alrighty, so this is the uh, the tabs that I've done up. As you can see, there's one either side. So I'll end up welding a piece on across the bottom that sticks out. But this is 50 mil long. I've got an 8 mil hole in there, about 3 mil overlay up the top there. Factory bolts seem to be uh, long enough to hold it in there. So uh, it's just a matter of, this isn't the piece I'll be using, but it's small enough I can manoeuvre around. Piece get welded on there. As you can see, indicators are up there, which means that the spotlight's got to fit underneath there. So now I just need to work out how long a piece I need and weld her up and paint her. So I've just got it sitting on there for the moment. So I've come down here, that was that 50 mil bracket like that you would have just saw five seconds ago. But, um, and then I've done up this bracket here. So in between these two pieces here is 87 mil. Um, and then I've kicked them out 170 mil after that. Took an account for five mil thickness of both, so plus 10 mil. So what I got to 285, I think it was. Uh, plus minus, you know, five mil because of my awesome accuracy. But that's it there. Not too intrusive, does pop down. I probably could have shaved, you know, maybe about 10 mil off these. But um, I'm standing on other bits and pieces here. As you can see, I'm gonna have pretty good spot just underneath the indicators. They don't stick out too far. The bar, you know, not as pretty as your $140 there we go, sorry guys. Uh, not as pretty as that $140 one where it comes down, kicks out and then comes across, but mate, this thing cost me 15 bucks. Lights cost me, I don't know, 30 or 40. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, some club price at BCF, so. Which is interesting, because uh, Super Cheap Auto, which is also part of BCF company, um, or vice versa, either or, they sell the Ridge Rider ones with the exact same specs for double the price, so go figure. Um, but yeah, 40 bucks. I know they've got an awesome spot because out past that way, I've got a 100 meter run down the back to to the end of the, the other tree line up there. So awesome spot, probably keep going from there. But um, I'll finish getting this one welded up. Uh, I'll round off some edges to make it look a bit more pretty. Um, and I'll get a painter up and we'll go from there. So this is the bracket here, all finished up. Um, bit of tack weld, paint. Um, one thing I didn't take into account is once that sits up in there, ooh, yeah, is uh, the fairings. I was doing all this with the fairings off. So um, I'll just balance that there for the moment. I've got some bolts down in here somewhere. Just get a. Uh, these bolts um, 
get these in there. Oh. Just get them loosely chucked in because um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. No, that was the front one there. Ah, I did have the right one. Alrighty, that fairing on and sitting there loosely. Didn't take any account of those, so not enough room to put it up up underneath the indicator here. So for the time being, I'm, I'm just going to bolt him in underneath. I'll make up a new bracket later on. Basically, got to add uh, 20 mil or 40 mil in total to the length, um, and that way it'll kick it out a little bit further. Then I've got enough room to put them up in there. But it's that simple to bolt spotlights on. Um, then it's just onto the wiring. Once I uh, figure out where the best place to draw and put all the relay and stuff in for that is, so simples. So I went about the wiring a little bit different um why not pulling apart this finding out that it's a red and black wire pulling the entire headlight assembly off which is four bolts um trace back that um only one red and black is coming up into this harness here this is the headlight side of th this is the headlight side of things i've just uh used one of our old dodgy rodgy bloody connector clips there straight onto that now don't be alarmed by about the tape i like to tape all my connections together so there's no chance that they rattle loose sort of thing got my relay down in there as well and then this is where it's going to go out to the lights now i ran this straight off those two wires there which is your accessories 15 amp i got it on the charge because i've been playing which is uh this jobby just in here accessories 15 amp um i mean they only draw four amp total but back on 15 anyway why not it's there it's not being used i don't plan on putting in any other accessories at this point so i can always swap it over later the otherwise uh, out of my way please that's that one there these wires here these other two plugs that's your 10 amp so they've left some accessory plugs up the front for you already. So happy days. I'll finish taping that off. Um, but yeah, that simple in a nutshell is find your red plug. It's the only bloody red plug there. Red and black wire. I'm on the headlight side of things. So when I disconnect all this, so I can pull it all off in one go. Um, instead of having bits and pieces everywhere. So um, that's it. Then run that down to my lights when I get a half a minute when I reassemble all this again. And um, reassemble that, reassemble that. That's the light bracket. Uh, super simple. Um, yeah, as I said, I kind of stuffed up a little bit uh, with my measurements because I didn't take the fairings into account. But I'm going to be quite happy with any spotlights at the time being. So... Simples, four bolts, oh, your fairings, your four bolts, pull your tire headlight off, red and black wire, there you go, your high beam switch for your driving lights. Um, in Australia, you're supposed to have a switch in line to be able to turn them off with your high beams, but yeah, if they get antsy about it, I'll just put one in, but there's really no point. I mean, I was thinking about actually doing it and putting just a switch on this uh, panel just there, but um, yeah, too much work. I want to get it done. I want to go inside. You know how it is. Um, I'll show you all when it's all done. All right, guys, we're done, finally. Um, don't know what happened with some of the wiring, but when I got it all back together and tested it, something fucked up somewhere, so that's an entire night. So that's just normal high beam. Let's uh, get you focused up a little bit more. That's one. That's two. 
There you go. Not bad. That's probably only about, I don't know, 80 metres away, those trees. So still significantly better. So there's a fair bit more light there. And I'm happy, finally. That's me done for the night. So you can see. Some down the front there. Let's uh, flick them on. Very nice. Now I have to spend the night cleaning up the shed. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, how I went about doing it. I uh, went through a couple of fuses in the process because I don't know what happened, but must have been a dodgy relay because I went through a few to test. <laughs> um, I've got collections of all this stuff. So there we go. Spotlight's done.